Good morning everybody, how are you doing? A happy, happy Tuesday to you. I'm Joan Hall and welcome to my morning instant body booster. Today we have a feel good back mobilizer, a really lovely way to warm up that back, just kind of make it feel sort of a little bit more fluid if you're experiencing any sort of back discomfort or maybe tight shoulders and so forth. And it's so lovely just to feel like you've got a little bit more agility, a bit more vitality and a bit more freedom of movement in your spine. So that is what I've got planned today. So come on in. For those of you who are regularly with me, you'll know that I like to go live at 8.25 and actually share a little cup of coffee and a little bit of a morning brew. Let me know what you've got. So come on in, make yourself at home. Have you got coffee this morning? Have you got hot water and ginger, uh, maybe a green juice, which is what I like to have afterwards. So come along, say hello and where you are from. So this morning in the house we have Debs, how are you doing? We have Catherine, we have Marita, good morning, good morning, Alison Morton and also I'd love to know where you are. I'm saying good morning but I also know that we have quite a few of you who join us from the other side of the world on my Get a Start of Walk Active program. Um, I know there's quite a few of you from Australia and even from New Zealand who come and do this. So for you it's obviously later in the day or even kind of different time zone but wherever you are I hope you are well and come along and say hello so good morning Jenny hi Laura hello June how are you doing today hello Roz um, hello Laura hello Monica good morning good morning Natasha how are you doing I hope, you, hope you're good Beverly hello nice to see you Madeline nice to see you good thanks so much for coming Christine so how are you doing lovely people it's Tuesday sometimes people can feel a bit funny about Tuesday Monday get yourself rare wrapping up for the week and Tuesday we are ready to rock so I've had several requests about easing out the back um, obviously if you're watching this in real time we are going through lockdown and lots of people are spending the additional time they've got in our gardens because here in the UK the weather has been really really lovely so but all that bending down can create a lot of stiffness and restricted mobility so we're going to do some maybe some really lovely exercises that are going to help ease that today I hope that's beneficial for you um, good morning Catherine good morning Debbie good morning Claire and this is how I'd actually like you to set up your room um, obviously as you all know if you're regular with me I like to have your mat this way so that you can actually just turn your head and see what's going on but a chair would also be beneficial because one of the stretches that you're going to need I think it's helpful just to have a chair there just for a bit of extra balance so I've actually positioned it like this because the way that the, the movement's going to flow you'll actually um, it will hopefully make that much more fluid for you and other than that you just need your body okay I have my dog here Barney who's having a little snooze you might actually I'll just give him a little you're going to be comfortable. I'm going to put him up here just in case he makes an appearance in the middle of it. He has a tendency, as you may know, because he watches the squirrels and suddenly goes and sees them. But there we go. So, lovely people. Um, one of the reasons why I started my morning is to body booster is obviously we're in lockdown. But as a sports scientist, I'm a real firm believer that the quality of your motion impacts your emotions. And it's sometimes we get wake up in the morning, we don't necessarily feel the brightest, we feel like, oh, it's, you know, that's quite normal. But actually the body and the mind really likes to have an element of consistency. So just making this personal investment, I applaud you for coming and doing that. And you might be in your pajamas, so give me a thumbs up if you are. Um, or you might be ready for your day, maybe you're catching this at the end of your day. But it's really valuable um, for our mind and our physicality just to have that moment that is for ourselves. So I hope you are finding this useful. Leave me a comment, let me know if you do. And uh, with that, I think we will start our Feel Good Back Mobiliser. Let's begin. Last little slurp. Good morning, Adele. How are you doing? Elizabeth Day. Hello, Jean. Hello, Marilyn. Hello, AK. Ali. How are you doing? Hello, Kate. Nice to see you today. So, okay, lovely people. Let's start here. I'm going to face the front. Just spread your feet a little bit. Just give them a little wriggle. Sometimes they can feel a little bit kind of... Oh, I'm not quite sure what they're doing today, so come onto your toes, come back onto your heel pad. And we're going to just start with three really lovely, lovely big deep breaths. So feel grounded, think about your ball of the foot, think about the heel the pad, be a little bit more centered. And we're going to start with a gorgeous big deep breath in. So bend the knees, just whatever feels comfortable for you, stretch nice and tall. Really feel the lungs, stretch, 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 feel the height you are meant to be in this world today, gorgeous people. And then just let it all out. Nice and loose, let's do that again. Here we go, so gather from the ground, feel the energy grow from the body, lift up all the way through, stretch up tall, 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 breathe in, and let it all out. Nice and loose with the body. Okay, last one, so feel the grow. Get a little bit of height, feel how you get space through each joint, through the ankle joint, the knee joint, up through the hips, through the spine, reach, reach, reach. Gather, 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 last one up, stretch as tall as you can, and leave it all out. 
Good job. Now, this time, as you come up, think about your posture. So think about the distance between your pubic bone and sternum, and the distance between the earlobes and shoulders. And you're going to draw the arms above the head, and just take hold of one wrist. So from that point, just gather a little bit more height out of your body, and checking the distance between the earlobes and shoulders, and then just ease over to one side. So for the first one, I'd like you to think about your foot and your knee and your hip are all in alignment. You're lifting up out of the energy of your body and the longest and the tallest part of your body should be your middle finger of the top hand. So energize, feel the energy right into there and then come back to the center and spin the arms wide. Okay, do the other side. So gather the energy, stretch tall, check your posture points, lift up from the body, distance between pubic bone and sternum, earlobes and shoulders, gather and grab hold of this wrist, lift a little bit taller so you pre-lengthen and then ease over. So you may well be feeling the stretch maybe more a little bit over on the armpit, coming down on the waist, but feel that the energy is actually gathering from the floor, okay? Deep breath in, and then stretch those fingers, and then spin the arms wide, okay? Now, from here, take the arms out to the side, and just lean one side a little bit, turn the palm up, this arm comes down, you're gonna draw big, big circles with this side, okay? So just draw, almost like you've got a paintbrush, you're trying to paint as big as possible, and keep that feeling of length, really important. Slight softness of the knees here as you come all the way down, keep reaching, 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 and you're over again. So turn the palm up, stretch up, big, big stretches. So as you come up, just feel that you're a slight tuck under the tailbone, reach, last one, really nice wave cut, lovely mobility right through the middle spine, breathe, good. Okay, shake yourself out, take a deep breath in, and we're gonna repeat on the other side. So take the arms out to the side, this arm comes down, stretch over to the side, palm up, and we're gonna reach all the way over. A little bit of a bend of the knees, tuck the tailbone under and stretch down to the bottom, and that's the side again. Here we go, deep breath in, reach, 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 a little bit of a bend, stretch over, and last one, reach as far as you can, and then come back. That's good, shake the hands out. Come back to this position, give me a little bend of the knees, and from here just tuck the tailbone under. So for, I normally like to call this as my prep for my roll down. So my knees are a little bit soft, I lengthen through the spine here, so this is my priority. But you'll also feel that you're waking up the lower core area. Very important because the rectus abdominis goes from the sternum down to the pubic bone, and it's this lower part that's often a bit um, challenging to get to work to stimulate. So just hold that but make the priority of stretch the lower spine. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Come tall, spin the arms wide. Lift them behind the back and just stretch the chest so your heart chakra is nice and open. Deep breath in and breathe out. Let's do that again. So this time stretch tall, bend the knees. Think about the sequencing here. Tuck that tailbone under. So distance between the inners and shoulders. Seems a very simple movement, and it is, but if you execute it well, you can really feel, <coughs> excuse me, that you almost generate some heat in the body because you're energizing up through the fingertips. You're tucking that tailbone under, really thinking about the length, stretch tall, and then spin out. Right, we're gonna do that one more time, <coughs> and this time we're gonna roll down. Here we go. <coughs> excuse me this morning, deep breath in, stretch tall. Now bend those knees, tuck that tailbone under. Deep breath in and let the hands drift past your chin. So you've got that tuck under and you've got a little bit of tuck under here from the shoulders, but you keep the length here. Now from here, then lift, let it ripple all the way down. Knees a little bit bent, so we've got our first forward hanging bend. Just ease out the hips here a little bit, nothing too strenuous to see how that feels for you today. Knees can be gent, bent as generously as you want. And then from here, we're gonna tuck the tailbone under. We're just gonna walk out to all fours, okay? One and two three and four, and five and six. And then from here, just bend down onto the knees. I quite like just to shift my waist a little bit here. Check my setup. My shoulders are over my wrists, and my knees are over my hips, okay? Now, from here, sit back up, take a big deep breath in, stretch up tall, and bring the hands to a prayer position. And then from here, you're gonna come back down onto all fours, but this time with your prayer position, your fingers are gonna be pacing, spacing one way. So I'm over the top of my wrists, draw up through these abdominals, and this is a really nice shoulder opener. So just ease one way towards my fingertips, deep breath in, and then the other time I just ease away. So I've got a little bit of a stretch behind that shoulder, and again, ease one way, good. 
and then ease the other way. Now, as you ease this way, just check that you've got a little bit of a bend in the elbow because that lets the muscles behind the scapula, the shoulder girdle, just open up. One more time, breathe in, ease, and then just stretch it that way. That's good. Now, from here, come back up, roll the wrist once and twice, and then away once and twice. Prayer position again, and we'll come down. So we come into this position, fingertips go that way, and we just ease over one way, and then come back again. So just get a little bit of stretch. Bend that elbow so you feel the stretch. I'm just going to move this way a bit. And then you go over towards the fingertips. Nice way. So you see a little bit of opening down the sides of the back. And then ease it here. And depending on how tight you may feel in your glutes, you may feel a bit of stretch going down into that area as well. And wherever you feel it, just allow your body to breath. Just let the stretch come. One more. Breathe in. Good, and then come back. So come back here, and this time, when you're on all fours, just take a little moment and look at that space between your two thumbs. You're gonna bring one leg off the floor, just stretch the heel pad back to begin with, and then from here, bring that knee right in close to your nose, look at the space between your two thumbs, and that's where your foot's gonna go. So lift it forward and place it there. Now, just maybe you want to move that foot back a little bit. If you want to put a blanket underneath there to support yourself, you can for a bit of extra support. But importantly, if you press the foot in, that will take the pressure off the knee as well. Lift the arms up, okay, and you're going to rest them on this leg here. That's what's useful about having the chair here. So press the hip forward, so we've got a little bit of a hip flexor, but actually I want to bring the back in here. So start to tuck the chin in and also tuck the tailbone under. So we've got a little bit of a hip stretch, a hip flexor stretch, which is important to help the lower back, but also a little bit of a scoop underneath here. So you may well feel it down the back, really easing that area. Take a deep breath in and breathe out. Good, keep everything scooped in so you really feel a lovely back mobilizer. One more time, deep breath in and breathe out. And then from here, if you feel comfortable, take your hands, stretch them forward, a really, really nice big stretch. Check that you can see the front of the foot so that you're not compromising the knee position. Big reach up, lovely long full body stretch. And then you're going to bring the arms behind you. I'm going to do three big circles. So we stretch forward, reach forward and then breathe out, do that again, so reach forward, and breathe out, just a little bit of movement, last one, forward, and come back, okay, so the hands are going to go back to the ground in this position, tuck the back foot underneath you, give a little bit of awareness of where you are, and you're going to step forward, okay, one, two, three, push forward, here we are on a forward hanging bend again, so just nice and relaxed, just nod yes, nod no, so there's no pressure in the shoulders. And then heavy in that tailbone, and we're going to roll up nice and gently, slowly, slowly, slowly. Take a big, deep breath up at the top, breathe in. And then take hold of that wrist, big reach up. And then just as we did at the beginning, just ease over to one side. How does that feel? Breathe into the hands, stretch tall, and then grab the other wrist. So pre-lengthen, very important to get that lengthening all the way through the body. And then come back from here, Bend the knees, tuck that tailbone under, and we're going to roll down again. So deliciously roll down, roll down, roll down. Roll all the way down. Nice and heavy with the body. Just think about being relaxed with the knees, relaxed with the head, and just lift up through the back's legs a little bit. Nice and smooth. Breathe in, and breathe out. Good job. Now, bring a little bit of integrity to your fingers, because we're going to step back to that box position. So one big step back. Uh, the big step back and you may well find yourself in a plank position if you could hold it here for a second just to find your point that's great tuck the tailbone under and then ease the knees back down to the floor good stretch back breathe in and then come back up again roll up and then put your hands in the prayer position because we're going to open up those shoulders okay i'm just going to move this right here but stretch tall bring the hands down to your chest and then ease forward. So fingertips go one way. Spread yourself a little bit if you want to feel more comfortable with your knees. Press those feet in. And you're just going to ease one way. So just feel how the muscles open up at the back of the shoulder go a little bit more. Breathe in. And then ease back. Good. So it's almost like you've got a pane of glass in front of you. And you're just moving horizontally over your fingertips. This is actually a really good way to wake up the hands as well. The wrists can get quite weak, so it's important to have that range of motion. Come back, ease up, roll the back up, stretch those arms up, just roll the wrist once, roll them twice and go the other way, once 
and twice, and then we're going to roll down through the body again. Here's my prayer position, I'll go the other way. So bring my weight forward, find yourself in that position, check that your shoulders are over, and then just going to point, first of all, over those fingertips. Just come to the point that feels comfortable for you, and then just ease back. Take a moment here just to check that the elbow is slightly soft. Allow that shoulder girdle just to spin up, breathe in, and then ease back again, nice and smoothly. So the breath, you just want to feel that the breath is smooth here, because often we're waking up the body physically, but we want to think about the breath being smooth and coming in and out of the body as well. Okay, good job. Now from there, come back to this position, so spread those fingertips. Take a little look at that point between your thumbs, okay? Stretch the other leg back, so you just feel a little bit of a stretch in the feet, first of all, also maybe in the calf muscle. And then bring that knee right in towards your nose, hug it in, look at that point between your two thumbs, and that is where your foot is gonna go. So we're gonna place it there, okay? Press this leg back a little bit, depending on how much range of motion you've got and how it feels today. If you want to have a blanket under that knee, please do. Press that back foot into the floor because that actually takes pressure off your knees. You distribute the weight better. So from here, bring your hands onto this knee and just check they're behind the knee rather than pressing down here so there's no tension on that knee. And you also can see your foot. Midline of the kneecap over your second toe, that's good tracking. Lift up from the body first of all, maybe feel a stretch there, and then tuck that tailbone under, and let the chin come under as well, so you start to feel a little bit of a stretch all the way through the spine. The chair is here a bit for support. Okay, just ease and do whatever feels comfortable for you. Try to keep the breath nice and smooth. This is just a really lovely kind of mid back mobilizer, easing the body, listen to how we feel today, breathe in and breathe out, good job, and then from here we're going to take the hands away, if you feel comfortable, grab hold of your wrists and you're going to stretch up, really lovely, lovely big stretch here, so you're opening up the front of the thigh, think about being parallel as you can with these two muscles here, so check that you're not rolling out here, push forward a little bit on that one side, stretch forward, up, 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 and then bring those arms back. And we've got those big three circles here. We go reach forward, and then ease back, opening up the chest, and again, reach forward, back with the arms, so you just feel a little bit of mobility through the shoulder girdle, which all relates to the back as well. Breathe in, and this is our last one here. Bring the hands back down, tuck those toes underneath, energize that back foot, push off a little bit, and we're gonna come from that back foot to step together, one, and two, and three, push off the back foot, and here we are on our forward hanging bend. Take it nice and steady. You can have a generous bend of your knees, see how you feel today, and just nod yes, and nod no, so there's no touch in the back of the neck. Maybe give you a little bit of a stretch, see how that feels when you look at life upside down, lovely people. And then from here, bend the knees a little bit more if you want, and with your hands, you're just gonna gently come around one side, give a little bit of mobility, and if you can, just ease, and explore, be curious about how it is when you start to stretch the backs and legs a little bit more. Good, and then maybe bend the knees, tuck the tailbone under so there's a little bit of core integrity, and then bring the hands the other way, okay? So from here, lift up, try to straighten maybe a little bit, just gently lifting up, breathe in, and then bend and come back again the other side. One more each way. So just getting a little bit more of a lateral stretch for the back, also going into the lower spine, going into the glutes, all this area here was related to how our backs feel. Last one, nice and gently, lift up, breathe in, and then breathe out, good job. And then from here, nice and heavy, tuck that tailbone down, and we're gonna do a lovely, slow, and delicious roll up. So take your time, thinking about space through every single vertebrae that you've got, and as you unfold, create the length through the body and start to bring the head back to that nice straight position. Take the arms above your head, big, big stretch up nice and tall. How are we feeling, lovely people? Stretch up tall, good job. And then from here, just take one wrist again and lift up so you pre-lengthen. And this time, come back over to the side, okay? And currently, you've got your foot and your knee and your hip all in alignment. And I want you to think about adding a little bit of push from here, so you push, that way, almost like a letter C. You're slightly out of kind of balance, it's slightly compromised, so draw in through your core, energize through your top hand, and think about coming down between two panes of glass. So this is a really delicious whole body stretch. A little bit of your lower back as well, stretch tall, keep the length, energize into your top hand, come back to the center, and then spin the arms this way, 
relax the arms down, and we'll do the last one this side. Bend the knees, reach up nice and tall. How are we doing? Are we all right? Lift, 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 energize up, stretch, reach into that. So currently I've got my knee and my ankle and my hip all in alignment, and then I've got my little bit of push here. Just feel what's good for you. You're trying to get this kind of letter C. So a little bit of waist work here, but lengthening all through the body, lifting up. That's the important thing. You keep the energy through your middle finger. So you're stimulating the fascia chain, which is a connective tissue all the way through the body. Breathe in. And as you breathe out, you energize into your hands and you bring the arms wide. Okay. Now, last little bit, thumbs to my thighs, scratch up. Relax the hands down, so my little fingers down my thighs now, and relax down. Loosen loose in the shoulders, okay? Do that one more time, so my thumbs are by my thighs, scrunch it up so there's not much space between my ear nose and shoulders, rotate it round, and then drop down nice and loose. And we'll do that one more time, because it's such a really great way to help with the posture and to open up this area. So thumbs here, scrunch up, rotate round, let it all down, and then loose, loose, loose. And just continue that feeling of looseness, and we just start to take it a little bit around the body. So just check here, I've got length between my pubic bone and my sternum, and my knees and my feet and my hips are facing front, and but I'm just nice and loose with my upper body, and hopefully that feels a little bit better than when we started, okay? Just allow that weight up a couple more times, just see how it feels, and we are all in a feel-good back mobilizer today, lovely people. Good job, well done. Thank you so much for joining me. Bend those feet, let's take a deep breath in. Most important part that we actually start with our hugs and our loves in. Take the arms up, breathe out, stretch, get ready to hug in that love. Thank you so much for your energy today. And I think you may have heard quite a bit of the building work and the noise in the background, so I do apologize. <laughs> breathe in and let the chin come down nice and gently. Let the rock corners of the mouth roll up. Stretch, 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 really feel your hug in the love. And then good, let the arms just drift out to the side and we're going to swap around. So we always create the symmetry of the body, really important for our posture. Create that consistency. Hug, squeeze yourself in. Make it good and proper, lovely people. Let the chin drop down, let the corners of the mouth rise up. Breathe in, breathe in. And think a lovely, positive thought. And get ready, we're going to send our love around this world. Are we ready? After the count of three. One, two, three. Whoosh. It's gone. Thank you so much for joining me today, everybody. Um, I'm Joanna, and this was our morning instant body boost, and we had a feel-good back mobiliser. So I hope you are feeling zing, 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 and I hope you have a great rest of the day. Please come back, share with me, share this with your friends, um, and you can come back and revisit this whenever you may feel a little bit tight or you need a bit of a loosener. It's a great death stress reliever, or if you've been gardening, or you just want to feel like, yep, I feel zing a zing zing. Take care, lovely people. I will be back 8.25 tomorrow. And uh, stay safe, be good, and be kind. Take care. Bye-bye.